there have always been talented singers and nice tunes while some artists are all about virtuosity, others rely on atmosphere. It's rare, however, to stumble across such a beguiling confluence of voice, delivery, songwriting and vibes as you find in Bed Owen, a mesmerizing 33-year-old folk singer, still a cult act but deserving of much wider acclaim. When she walks on stage in this pub back room, the Ladweller actually resembles a character from Central Hollywood casting. She wears an intricately embroidered woolen dress, the wrong choice, it turns out, for a sweltering box like this, and round linen specks her wavy tresses have no discernible end. It's as though the sleeve of a rare 60s album has come alive in front of you. Long thick spidery fingers pluck the opening strings of her opening song, You Kill Me, with ease. It's about wandering, a huge theme in Bedouin's music. The room falls into a humid hush. Stripped of the sublime Space Bomb Studios orchestrations that adorned her self-titled debut album, released in June, there is, equally, now nowhere for her to hide. As song after song unfurls, it becomes clear that Bedouin needs no shelter. Direct and unfussy, her voice can also be feather light, but it is always imbued with the kind of authority that you wish more women with acoustic guitars aspired to the feeling, as with Joni Mitchell, that they are sages imparting hard wisdom direct from the source. Her music seems informed by a greater-than-average understanding of change, sorrow and the relative importance of things tonight. Bedouin sounds nothing like Mitchell. Her songs take place octaves lower and stray into mellifluous country one of these days or even warm bossa nova, but there is a core of granite to them. When she sings sweetly about doubt is on mind's eye or about tiptoeing around a lover is on nice and quiet, there is no sense of submissiveness, just self-possession. Her songs often deal with love but never in martyrdom they are full of conclusions arrived at from observation and so dry you miss at humor. All these time-honored concerns come out sounding like retro caresses, but Bedouin's turns of phrase are often fresh her eyebrow can arch. California City Parks, she sings on Back to You, they talk in exclamation marks I am still dying to know what's exciting. She plays an untitled new song and wipes sweat from her face with the flared sleeve she can't roll up. I feel like an athlete, she deadpans, when someone hands her a towel. Bedouin named herself after the nomadic Arab people, in keeping with her own peripatetic life. Born in Aleppo of Armenian origin, she would be a shoe in if you were casting the young, folky Cher, Asnev Kork AG and grew up in Saudi Arabia and attended international schools before a green card lottery landed her family in the U.S. in her teens. When she is not Bedouin, Cork Agian is a film and dialogue editor for film and TV. Her latest CV point was The Big Sick, the autobiographical rom-com starring Kumail Nanjani. Keen to self-record to tape, Cork Agian met analog engineer Gus Seyfert, Nora Jones, Beck, Roger Waters and, over a number of years of downtime, they demoed the songs that would become her debut. Lured in by the lovely, Space Bomb produced Natalie Press album of 2015, those songs eventually found a natural home at the Virginia studio Come Lab or run by Matthew E. White. Watch the video for Solitary Daughter by Bedouin. You don't want to assume too much about someone with family in Syria, but even as it draws from obviously Anglo-American traditions, Bedouin's music seems informed by a greater-than-average understanding of change, sorrow and the relative importance of things. In interviews, she has revealed how she shares her small place in L.A. with a large Alsatian called Hans and few possessions. She has also expressed a desire to play sousaphone for Solange. One of the night's standouts, Solitary Daughter sounds like autobiography of the best kind elliptical, but clear in its declaration of independence. I don't need your company to feel saved, she sings. I don't need objects to keep her to pawn. Shortly after, one fan has to be helped to a seat, literally swooning. It's unclear whether it's just the heat.